Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing these very elegant bridal nails. So without further ado, let's get started. So right here I have my Adribus false nail tips. And I really like these because they're pre-shaped in the coffin. We have Gershon top coat and also Gershon base coat gel. Gershon white poly gel. I'm also going to be using Gershon Nude Poly Gel in the number 04. I'm also going to be using this Clear Poly Gel by McCart. Use code Naomi Nails 911 for 15% off. So right here I have my tips. I'm just gluing them on using my glue. You know, first I'm sizing them, making sure they're not too small, because if they're too small, that can cause lifting, and lifting is never good. So like I was saying previously, I really do love how these tips are shaped to that coffin already. I don't even shape them up before going in with my poly gel application, to be honest. Um, I just like to save time, and I just really love the way they come. But of course, if you do have um, tips that are not already in the shape that you prefer, whether it's coffin, square, stiletto, make sure you either cut and file to, you know, achieve that shape that you're going for. So just about here, I messed up and I totally forgot to apply my base coat gel to my natural nails and cure it before going in with my poly gel application. And I legit didn't even notice that I forgot to do that step until now when I'm editing this video. But um, I'm pretty sure it will make a very major difference when it comes to lifting. So that is imperative that you add that base coat layer before applying poly gel and curing it, of course. So in my last video, I was just saying how much I loved doing the one bead method because I just find that it gives just the perfect amount of thickness and strength to the nail. Um, so right here, I'm just taking one long bead of that white poly gel from that Gershon kit and just applying it and making sure it goes from side to side because sometimes if there's a little gap on the side, it messes with your shape, at least for me. Um, it makes it weird and it's like kind of unfixable unless you go back in with products. So today's comment shout out goes to Kathy McDowell. She says, thanks for the vid. Dual forms are an amazing invention. And yes, I agree, sis. Thank you so much for commenting. So I was essentially just moving the product downwards closer to the cuticle area just to create that little curve which is called the apex which prevents your nails from breaking and that is just super important and in a moment I'm going to show you the side profile. So now I'm just adding some white at the very tips of the nails so I can start creating my baby boomer or ombre, you know, whatever you want to call it. There's so many names for it. Um, and I'm going to be using my base coat gel as a slip solution. So I'm only going to be focusing the product towards the tip and towards the middle. I'm not going to take it all the way down to the cuticle area like I did for the middle finger.
So now I'm adding the nude poly gel around the cuticle area and then I'm going to proceed to create the blend. And if you have difficulties getting that like seamless blend, just go for some base coat because I had the same exact problem when I was using alcohol. And ever since I started using base coat, I've had no problems. So right now I'm taking my clear poly gel and applying it right where the nude and the pink meet and then I'm going to be blending it and it's imperative that you do this step because you will literally file off you know your blend that you work so hard to make seamless so you know you always have to encapsulate when you do ombres or marbles and stuff like that. So right now, um, I removed the sticky layer using alcohol and some paper, and I'm going in with filing, and I have a whole video on how to file coffin and square and, you know, all the other shapes. Um, fun fact, back when I first started to use gel polish, like, I was wearing press-ons, and I started wearing, um, you know, gel polish, and I didn't own a wipe, like, a non-wipe top coat, so I was doing my little, you know manicure and i was applying my press on my gel polish and i would put it under the light and then it was still sticky so i'm thinking it's still wet and not dry and this whole time i'm thinking my light isn't working and da -da -da. and apparently it was working i just didn't wipe it with alcohol so that step is super important and if you don't do that it also can clog up your hand file so you don't want to do that it's very wasteful of your files Thank you. 
Okay, boom, we're done with that. So now we're going to get around the cuticle area and, you know, just to seal it. If you don't seal it, you can cause lifting, you can get water under there, bacteria, you can cause a fungus due to the water. And, you know, that's just really not something that you want to play with. So make sure you seal your nails. So I'm using my Yulon drill and I've had it for a while now. I did a whole review on it on my channel and it's holding up pretty nicely. And this drill bit is by Pana. It's the medium grit. And I got it off Amazon. As you can see. So if you're using like a safety bit, it's just not going to work. It's not going to get really, really close to where you need it to be to do what it needs to do. So, you know, make sure it's a flat top drill bit. And if you're not comfortable using a, brit, a bit that is this sharp and so flat, um, make sure you can, you know, use... A sanding band because that's what I've been using for a long time but right now I feel confident enough to use this so you just want to make sure that nothing is on the skin and nothing is on the cuticle so that's the goal here I'm also removing any excess product from the behind the nail and also sharpening that shape of the free edge. So right now I'm just buffing out the nail um, just to remove any scratches and, and to make sure it's super smooth. Um, I don't know what grit this file is, but I, all I know is that it's like really, really fine and soft. So it's able to, you know, get that nail really smooth. So after that, I go ahead and wash my hands from all that dust. And on the middle finger, I wanted to add some rhinestones. So all you need to do is add some clear poly gel with a little bit of base coat and flatten it out like that. But since we don't want to go in and foul again, make sure you just keep it where you want the rhinestones and not, you know, all over the place and making the nail bumpy. So I'm just doing a random little design. I just thought this would be cute. Um, yeah. So when I'm content with the rhinestones, I just cured that so they stay in place. And now I'm adding my top coat gel. And as you can see, I'm wiping the sides because often the top coats, you know, you know, they get on the side and cause it to look bumpy. So you worked really hard to shape up the nails. You don't want that top coat to, you know, ruin your hard work. So also, I'm not getting that top coat on the rhinestones. I'm being very careful and going around it because that top coat can actually dull out the shine of the rhinestones. Now I'm going in with some cuticle oil to finish off the look.
and this is it thank you guys so much for watching leave a like comment and subscribe check out my links down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye